And good afternoon, I'm Lori Stokes. And I'm Ken Rosado. Welcome to Eyewitness News at Noon. We begin with that developing story and brand new details in the still unsolved Times Square bombing attack. Just minutes ago, federal investigators released new video of the bike riding suspect who set off a device at the military recruiting station in Times Square back in March of 2008. Now they are linking that attack to other unsolved bombings. Eyewitness News reporter Stacy Sager live in Lower Manhattan with the details. Stacy. Well, you know, Ken, it has been a little over five years since this bombing happened, and the FBI is putting out some new information on this case, also putting out a new reward of $65,000. They are hoping that social media can really make a difference, and so they have put out these never-seen-before videos and photos of the so-called bike bomber taken back in March of 2008. It is the first time we're seeing some of these pictures that the FBI has had for more than five years. Video of the person behind the 2008 Times Square bombing. The target, a U.S. Armed Forces recruiting center here in Times Square. The only good news is this happened in the middle of the night, so nobody was hurt. The suspect riding on this old Ross bicycle. And here's a brand new photo of the device that was used. It was placed into an ammunition can commonly found on the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. And according to the FBI, it was filled with black powder detonated using a time fuse. The FBI is also confirming that this incident is indeed very similar to two others here in Manhattan, both of them involving a suspect on a bicycle carrying grenades like these. One explosion was here at the Mexican consulate in the city back in 2007. The other at the British consulate back in 2005. Now, as for the device that was used, while it was unsophisticated, ABC News has now learned it was indeed powerful. In fact, more powerful than the two Boston bombs combined. Once again, this happened in the middle of the night, so fortunately no one was injured. But the FBI is also now raising questions and concerns about whether or not this bomber had a lookout or lookouts. So once again, they're asking for information on this case. They want you to use the hashtag bike bomber in social media as they put these uh, new pictures out today. And of course, the FBI will update us further later this afternoon. We hope to get a little more information for you on this. For now, we're live in Lower Manhattan. I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.